Dragonborn? It's been so long since we've had any contact with the Greybeards. Do you really have the voice? I would be most impressed to see that. Whoosh! Now ah! <laughs> uh. Love it. When we last left off in the Elder Scrolls V, Skyrim, we had met with Parthenox, the secretive head of the Greybeards, to find out that he was ooh, a big ol' scaly boy. Upon finding this out, the Dragonborn decided, hey, this guy's trying to help us? Fantastic. We learned a little bit more about Fusrodar, and we made our way down the mountain, causing the earth to basically break open and swallow us because the game crashed. Upon reloading, we found our way down the mountain and to Winterhold, where we now are. So we're going to check out the college today, boop, and also try and figure out what's going on with this guy, Ranmir, and the barkeep who can't understand, just cannot possibly fathom at all why Ranmir is My so drunk the all the time. But I prefer to stay close by. I've also got this guy, Nelkath. Or Nelkath, sorry. Let's hey. I don't deal with any college applicants these days, so don't bother asking. So you with the college? No. Gods no, not for years. Well, it doesn't seem too happy I left with Winterhold it. for some time, and returned to stay here at the inn. Alright. Uh, why would you live here? I still have research that keeps me busy, and being here in Winterhold ensures I have access to former colleagues. Alright. Uh, oh, you're a Dagor, merchant. Spells and incantations for those with the talent to cast. What have you got? Fast healing now. We've still not got any new healing spells. Hmm. What have we got here? Ooh. I will take these though. Excellent. We'll do a little bit of enchanting mm -hmm. at some point. We've got a small child. Okay. My pa says elves are bad and not to trust them. Your dad's a racist, but all right. Burner. I do what's necessary so we can get by. Have to, since I can't count on my brother for anything. So why set up shop here? It wasn't by choice, I can tell you that. Options were in short supply. Branmir and I grew up here, and nearly any money I make, he drinks away. Without the coin to pack up and leave, I decided to take to trading. Ah, so you're Ranmir's sister. Very funny. I'm sure you've noticed that Winterhold isn't exactly overflowing with people. So I'll sell whatever I can. If it's worth putting a price on, you can bet I'll do it. Yeah, fair enough. I've been burned a few times, made a few bad deals, but mostly I come out on top. Said something about a bad deal. Yeah, it was stupid of me. I shouldn't have believed the story and just refused the trade. But I didn't, and now I'm stuck with this worthless junk. Oh, what's the story? Some line about this claw thing and Ingol Barrow. Ooh. He said it was worth more than its weight in gold if I took it back there. I'll take it. Something about placing it back in Ingol's chamber, I don't know. What was I thinking? Even if it were true, I'm not setting foot in some ancient tomb filled with who knows what. I'll do it. I'm that guy. I could I look into it. I don't care anymore. You want to check it out? Fine. I'll sell you the thing for 50 gold and then it's your problem. <laughs> Alright, done. I'll take it. Fine, here you go. You get killed on account of this thing? It's not my fault. Got it? <laughs> but I suppose if it I'm going to blame you if I'm dead. Something, I suppose you know, actually Elder Scrolls you? ghosts are a thing. So, yeah, maybe Coral Dragon Core. All right, well, that's something to check out as well then. Uh, let's put our helmet back on. We do probably need to put this Dragon Scale stuff somewhere at some point as well. Hilda, can you possibly take this? We still need to look into a new companion too. I did have a think of maybe grabbing the guy at Rorikstead, the one that we helped out. He comes back as a... Oh, you know, I had that. He comes back as a, a companion at some point. I don't know if he's there now, but it might be worth looking into. Sure, why not? Dragon scale. Neat. Alright. Uh, there was a book in here that I saw. I wonder if we check this out. Seeks Ancient Artifacts Journal, Volume 1. This gotta be content creation club stuff as well. No one would name an Argonian that unless they're... Yeah, 
There we go. The Sanctuary and the Manufactory. Interesting. I have arrived in Skyrim to solve a single mystery. To find the lost sanctuary of... <laughs> According to legend, it was built by the famed Dwemer architects, Clogus and Duramak, the latter of whom is said to be a distant relative of the great Dumak Dwarf King. While the two began as rivals, though, through mutual respect and admiration, they eventually became friends and over time much more. Whereas Clogus was an architect of great renown, his palatial estate suffered from their excess. The size of his rooms matched only by their emptiness. Duramak, on the other hand, was a genius engineer but lacked the artistic vision to allow his inventions to reach their full potential. It's only when they joined forces to create Nefuenfruns that they built something truly profound. If I am to find their creation, I must grasp history itself by the tail. Skyrim Expedition, Day 17. Our travels have brought us to this bleak underground tunnel, which the natives call Fro Frost Root Cave. Its winding cords of ice and rock make it a truly miserable place. My scales feel chilly, but more so my nerves. Luckily, we've hired a few soldiers of fortune into our employ. Some would call them bandits, but I like to refer to them as mercenaries at a discount. <laughs> Hopefully I can convince them not to touch the artifacts and keep the scrap instead. Good luck. I don't know if that will go down too well. Actually, let's have a look at our quests for that. Uh, right, let's have a look at our journal. Sanctuary in the Manufactory. Is that actually content creator stuff, or is it not? I don't remember ever doing this in the van in the vanilla game, so... Who knows? Hmm. Well, I guess we continue with this one, right? We continue with the, the quest we're doing, which is to talk to the people at the Winterhold College. See if they know much about an Elder Scroll. Although it is tempting, because let's face it, we haven't dealt with the Dwemer Ruin yet. And I am kind of intrigued by it. Uh, right. How are we going for... We've got everything... Yeah, we've got everything set up. Cool, cool, cool. Hi! Cross the bridge at your own peril. The way is dangerous and the gate will not open. You shall not gain entry. Uh, why are you out here? I am here to assist those seeking the wisdom of the college. And if, in the process, my presence helps to deter those who might seek to do harm, so be it. The more important question is, why are you here? May I enter the college? Perhaps, but what is it you expect to find within? Knowledge. Knowledge of the Elder Scrolls. It is true, there are some here who have spent years studying the accumulated knowledge of the scrolls. But what you seek does not come easily, and can destroy those without a strong will. It would seem that the college has what you seek. The question now is, what can you offer the college? I don't want to offer the college anything. I just want to get my stuff. Those wishing to enter must show some degree of skill with magic. A small test, if you will. <sighs> if we both know I'll succeed here, would you grant entry to the Dragonborn? Dragonborn? It's been so long since we've had any contact with the Greybeards. Do you really have the voice? I would be most impressed to see that. Oh, all right. Let's line you up a little bit. Stand back a little bit. There we go. Right. Welcome to the College of Winter. I guess I'm gonna hit a quick save just in case. Now <laughs> <laughs> uh, love it. Does that work? So the stories are true. You are Dragonborn. Yes. Normally, you'd need to show some aptitude with one of the schools of magic, but you. I think there is much that we can learn from each other. Sure, but I, I mean, I don't want to... I think superb addition to the college. Welcome, apprentice. This is the opposite I'll of what I wanted. The bridge. Once you're inside, you'll want to speak with Mirabel Irvine, our master wizard. Please, follow me. Oh, Jesus. How was that? I need to ask you to stop. <laughs> that... 
Shouting is making people nervous. Too bad there's more where that came from. I'm in the Mages Guild now. Of any laws against, uh, whatever that is you're doing. But I'll lock you up if I have to. Whatever. I've got my eye on you. Yeah. Bet you do. <laughs> uh. Alright, well let's go check out this place. Yeah, I really didn't want to get involved with the college, but I guess we have to to get the Elder Scrolls, so... It is what it is. We don't have to do the entire quest, do we? Um, I guess we probably need to get that sorted. Right. I believe I've made myself rather clear. Yes, of course. I'm simply trying to understand the reasoning behind the decision. You may be used to the Empire bowing to your every whim, but I'm afraid you'll find that Thalnor received no such treatment here. You are a guest of the College, here at the pleasure of the Archmage. I hope you appreciate the opportunity. Yes, of course. The Archmage has my thanks. Very good. Then we're done here. Oh. Welcome to the college. I was told to come see you. Another new student. I'm surprised at how many of you there are lately. Well, first you'll need these. While you're not required to wear them, you may find them more to your liking than your current clothes. I'll give you a brief tour and then we'll get you to your first class. Are you ready to begin? I mean, I'd love to have a look around. Wonderful. Please follow me and don't wander off. The College of Winterhold has been a fixture in Skyrim for thousands of years. The prominent feature here is the Hall of the Elements. It's our primary location for lectures, practice sessions, and general meetings. The Arcanium is located above the Hall, and the Archmage's quarters above that. While technically in charge of the College, the Archmage's responsibilities often keep him occupied. Thus, I run the day-to-day -day operations. Now, if you'll please follow me, I'll show you the living quarters. That would be good. We might be able to grab a couple of good spells around here. Procedures ...due to some problems with the local Nords. We don't anticipate any real violence, but it never hurts to be prepared. I mean, fair enough. They didn't seem too bad down there. They, they, they weren't... They were anti-magic, but they didn't seem to be... ...really aggressively anti-magic. Maybe there are people in the town that are, though. We certainly didn't talk to everybody, did we? Our newest members are housed here, in the Hall of Attainment. I'll ask that you please keep your voice down while inside, as others may be working on research or delicate experiments. Now I'll show you to your quarters. You're going to be sharing space with your fellow apprentices, who you'll meet shortly. Alrighty. This is where you'll be staying. This bed and desk are yours. Please try and be considerate of others. Now, let's go back to the Hall of the Elements, where most of the members gather for lectures and study sessions. Sure. Hilda. Can, After I you're not helping, Hilda. Rounds, we can talk. <laughs> Please don't mind my magic goat. Oh god damn it, hold on. <laughs> Alright. Uh, can we jump in this? We can. Let's wait for her to disappear and then we'll carry on with the tour. No doubt we'll be introduced to the first quest of this sort of arc. But I think we can leave it. We don't have to go. To Isaac. Oh, what's it called? Is it Sarfol? One of our most esteemed wizards. Yeah, Tolfti takes us to. What's it? It's lies, all of it. I don't care what she told you. It's all lies. I don't know who you're talking about. I'll just all come right out of then. that. Actually, what do our robes do? 12% less to cast. The problem is they don't do more damage. That is what 
I think the destruction spells need in order to compete are legendary. They need more damage. Tolfdir is likely Maybe already addressing to be the new wrong. apprentices. Go on in, and if you have any problems, let one of our senior members know. All right. I can meet the the ragtag crew. <laughs> and my magic goat. Welcome, welcome. We were just beginning. Please. Stay and listen. Stay a while and listen. Uh, we probably need our magic. If I remember rightly, he makes us use a ward, which is restoration, yes. There we go. As I was saying, the first thing to understand is that magic is, by its very nature, volatile and dangerous. Unless you can control it, it can and will destroy you. Sir, I think we all understand that fairly well. We wouldn't be here if we couldn't control magic. Of course, my dear, of course. You all certainly possess some inherent natural ability. That much is not being questioned. What I'm talking about is true control. Mastery of magic. It takes years, if not decades, of practice and study. Then what are we waiting for? Let's get started. Well, I like please, his approach. Please. This is exactly what I'm talking about. Eagerness must be tempered with caution. Or else disaster is inevitable. But we've only just arrived here. You've no idea what any of us are capable of. Why not give us a chance to show you what we can do? You've been quiet so far. What do you think we should do? Uh, I think... I think we should learn something practical. Is that so? Yeah. He agrees with us too. Why don't you actually show us something? All right, let's settle down. I suppose we can try something practical. In continuing with our theme of safety, we'll start with wards. Wards are protective spells that block magic. I'll teach you all a ward, and we'll see if you can successfully use it to block spells, all right? Would you mind helping me with a demonstration? Are you at all familiar with ward spells? I already know it, and I already know how to use it. Well, then this should be no problem at all for you. Nah. <laughs> now, if you just stand right over there, I'll cast a spell at you, and you block it with the ward. All right. Here we go. Master Magician. Over there, please, just opposite me. Wouldn't want anyone else in the way. Now, cast the ward spell and keep it up. What you learn here will last up, a lifetime. Or else this won't work. Several. It is up. Over there, please. Just opposite me. Wouldn't want anyone else in the way. Now, cast the ward spell and keep it up. Hold still. Excellent work. Well, I think this is an excellent start. I'd like you all to continue practicing the ward, please. I think perhaps we're ready to begin exploring some of the various applications of magic throughout history. The college has undertaken a fascinating yep, excavation in the ruins Called of Sothor nearby. It's an excellent learning opportunity. Wait, are you the? I suggest we meet there in a few hours. You're the you you're the head guy. Inside. That's all for now. Thank you. All right. Hey. You are relatively new here, are you not? I have noticed you, but we have not spoken. Of course, you've noticed me. You're still there watching me. No, we haven't. Then allow me to introduce myself. I am Savos Arin, Archmage of the College of Winterhold. I am quite content to see nearly any aspect of magic explored and investigated here. But I do not and will not approve of any research or experiments that cause purposeful harm to your fellow members of the College. Are we clear? Right, fair enough. A dangerous research must be a problem here. Not often, no. Some risks must be taken, to be sure. I am simply trying to avoid untimely deaths. We also must make an effort to avoid worsening what Skyrim thinks of us. I mean, that's fair. I'd like to know a bit more about Colge's history. I've seen documents dating back to the late Second Era. Beyond that, it's hard to say. Events in the last several hundred years resulted in a significant loss of our history, I'm afraid. I mean, what happened in the last few hundred the years? The Great Collapse, as it has come to be known. An unfortunate natural disaster that ravaged the area. The college fared far better than the city of Winterhold, but it was not left untouched. 
I mean, what caused it? No one is sure of the cause. Some believe the eruption of Red Mountain had far-reaching consequences that were only felt years later. Um, I know there are some who have blamed the college. I mean, if it was at the same time as the eruption, I could understand I that. You, this is not the case. Tsunamis or whatever. Tell me more about the Great the Collapse. Sea of ghosts practically came alive. No one was expecting it. Monstrous waves battered the shore for weeks on end. I mean, for weeks on end, it's not Winterhold was ancient and weathered, but it couldn't withstand the sea's fury. Entire districts of the city were lost overnight. The waves receded in time, but the damage was irreversible. Most residents of Winterhold abandoned what was left of the city. The college survived. I wonder and if so in Elder remain. Scrolls Online you get to see the city before the collapse. What's the purpose of the college? Purpose? I should think it's self-evident. Magic is a true power. Not something if to be shown by anyone plays Elder Scrolls Online and knows, an can you visit the Winterhold College in there? It shapes worlds, creates and is there a lot more to Winterhold? It deserves proper respect and study. The college is a place where we can focus on that, without the pressures of the world weighing down on us. Fair enough. All right. All right then. I have many important things on my mind. Well, Your are let's see if we can get a spell. And then we will go to the Arcanium and see if we can talk to the Librarian about the Elder Scroll. Because that is what we came here for. Or Countenance. I think the teachers in here are the ones that have the spells. And what we want is... Some sort of restoration spell? Restoration lady? I can hear some sort of spell going on. Oh, hello. Mirabelle does a fine job as Master Wizard, Ooh. I suppose. Destruction. Spells and incantations for those with the talent to cast them. Well, we got bookwise. Choke and grasp. Yeah, nothing really that we don't have that we need. The strangulation ones are pretty good. What are the other ones called? Choking Grasp? No, that's not as good. Hmm. How much of this can we buy? There we go. Right, we're down to no gold. So that's not really going to be much good, because we we now, I realise now that we can't sell. <laughs> we can't, oh, we, we might be able to sell some, and hang on. College boots. Take them, don't want them. Do we need it? We've got the other ones. We could sell that. Sure. Take it. Right, let's see if we can find this restoration lady. I do want a restoration spell. Up we go. Someone's using alteration up here, I think. Ooh, here we go. Arcane Enchanter. Actually, you know what? We'll, we'll leave that for now. What's going on with my... Is it you? You consider restoration of balance ah. full of magic, worthy of study, don't you? Don't you? I do. Of course it's valid. Good. Good. Not that I require validation, of course. There are just some, and I shan't name names, who would disagree. It can make life difficult when one's colleagues fail to recognize the research one engages in. I mean, what do you got for sale? So, you wish to master the arcane arts? I do. What have you got? Cl Close wounds. That's the one we want. Right, so we're going to take that one. Uh, Steadfast Ward, maybe, as well? Un and that will do us. We might come back and do some enchanting, maybe in between... Episodes, I don't want to do that now. Next time. But I do want to check on our restoration skills. Do we have the ability to make Is it Adept? Might be Adept. We'll do a point in Adept because we want close wounds instead of fast healing. And now we can mark that as that one. There we go. That should make us heal a little bit quicker. Whoop. Right. Let's head to the library. Let's see if we 
can track down this Elder Scrolls stuff. I think this should make our life considerably easier. Arcanium. Yes. Now, can I remember your name? Is it like Grogurk or something like that? Gro Urag. <laughs> Grogurt. <laughs> Urag, hey. I'm the Arcanium, of which I am in charge. As it might as well be my own little plane of oblivion. Disrupt my Arcanium, and I will have you torn apart by angry Atronox. Now, do you require assistance? Yeah, I'm uh, new to the college. Can I have an Elder Scroll? And what do you plan to do with it? Do you even know what you're asking about? Or are you just someone's errand boy? Tell me more about the Elder Scrolls? Of course I do. Do you have one here? You think that even if I did have one here, I would let you see it? It would be kept under the highest security. The greatest thief in the world wouldn't be able to lay a finger on it. What about the Dragonborn? What about... Wait, are you... Were you the one the Greybeards were calling? That's me. I'll bring everything we have on them, but it's not much. Yeah, you change your tune very so quick. don't get your hopes up. It's mostly lies, leavened with rumor and conjecture. Sure, uh, what do we have for sale? Assorted books, scrolls. I'm sure you'll find something useful. Hmm, some interesting ones here that I've never seen before. Quite a few of the Wolf Queen too. Hmm. Well, place to come, Until maybe later. Time. Let's see if he'll actually grab something for us. Here you oh, go. There we go. Try not to spill anything on them. Effects of the Elder Scrolls. Widely known among the scholars that the Elder Scrolls entail a certain hazard in their very reading. The mechanism of the effects has at present been largely unknown. Theories of hidden knowledge and divine retribution were the subject of idle speculation with little investigation. Justinius Paulunius have undertaken to fairly document the ailments afflicted by the Elder Scrolls on their readers through a unified theory of how they manifest Though a unified theory of how they manifest continues to elude me and remains a subject for future study, I've grouped the effects into four, finding that the avenue of experience depends largely upon the mind of the reader. This, this, if this is unclear, I hope that a proper dichotomy will lay it plain. Group the first. The Naifs. For one who has received no training in the history or nature of the Elder Scrolls, the scroll itself is effectively inert. No prophecy can be scribed nor knowledge obtained. While the scroll will not impart learning to the uninformed, nor will it afflict them in any adverse fashion, visually the scroll will appear to be awash in odd lettering and symbols. Those who know their astronomy often claim to recognize constellations and the patterns and connections, but such conjecture is impossible to further investigate since the very nature of this study necessitates unlearned subjects. Group the second. The unguarded intellects. It is this second group that realizes the greatest danger from attempting to read the scrolls. These are subjects who have an understanding of the nature of the Elder Scrolls and possesses sufficient knowledge to actually read what is inscribed there. They have not, however, developed adequate discipline to stave off the mind-shattering effect of having a glimpse of infinity. These unfortunate souls are struck immediately, irrevocably, and completely blind. Such is the price for overreaching one's faculties. It bears mentioning, though, that with the blindness also comes a fragment of that hidden knowledge, whether the future, the past, or the deep natures of being is dependent on the individual and their place in the greater spheres, but the knowledge does come. Group the third. Mediated understanding. Alone in Tamriel, it would appear that only the cult of the Ancestor Moth has discovered the discipline to properly guard one's mind when reading the scrolls. The novitiates must undergo the most rigorous mental cultivation, and they often spend a decade or more at the monastery before being allowed to read their first Elder Scroll. 
The monks say this is for the initiate's own protection, as they must have witnessed many unguarded intellects among the more eager ranks. With appropriate fortitude, these readers also receive blindness, though at a far lesser magnitude than the unguarded. Their vision fogs slightly, but they retain shape, colour, and enough acuity to continue to read mundane texts. The knowledge they gain from the scroll is also tempered somewhat. It requires stages of mediation and reflection to fully appreciate and express what one saw. Interesting. And what have we got here? Ruminations of the Elder Scrolls. Septimus Cygnus, College of Winterhold. How long is this? Not very long. Let's have a quick read of this as well. Why not? Imagine living beneath the waves with a strong sighted blessing of most excellent fabric. Holding the fabric over your gills, you would begin to breathe, drink its warp, and weft through the plant matter fibers and uh, though the plant matter fibers imbue your soul the wretched plankton would pollute the cloth until it stank to heavens of prophecy this is one manner in which the scrolls first came to pass but are we the sea or the breather or the fabric or are we the breath itself can we flow through the scrolls as knowledge flows through being the water or are we the stuck morass of sea filth that gathers on the edge we're the sea filth 100% we, we, we're just scum. <laughs> Imagine again, this time but different. A bird cresting the wind is lifted by a gust and downed by a stone, but the stone can come from above if the bird is upside down. Where then did the gust come from? In which direction? Did the gods send Eva? Or has the bird decreed their presence by her own mind-making? The all sight of the scrolls makes a turning of the mind such that relative positions are absolute in their primacy. I ask you again to imagine for me. This time you are beneath the ground. A tiny acorn planted by some well-meaning elf maiden of the woodlands for her pleasure. You wish to grow, but fear what you may become, so you push off the water, the dirt, the sun, to stay in your hole. But it is in the very pushing that you become a tree in spite of yourself. How did that happen? The acorn is a kind of tree egg in this instance. This guy is insane. <laughs> I I'm here for it. I love it. It's great. And the knowledge is water and sun. We are the chicken inside the egg, but also the dirt. Right. The knowledge from the scrolls is what we push against to become full-sighted ourselves. One final imagining before your mind closes from the shock of ever knowing. You are now a flame burning bright blue with a vast emptiness. In time, you see your brothers and sisters burnings of their own in the distance and along your side. A sea of pin points a constellation of memories each burns bright then flickers then two more take its place but not forever lest the void fills with rancid light that sucks the fort each of our minds is actually the emptiness and the learnings of the scroll are the pinpoints without their stabbing light my consciousness would be as a vast nothingness unknowing its emptiness as a void is unknowing of itself but the burnings are dangerous and must be carefully tended and minded and brought to themselves and spread to their siblings. Crazy. Let's take that as well. Right. So we've got a book. Let's go talk, talk to him I again. don't want to see you treating any of these books poorly. Are we clear? Do I need to talk to him again? Uh, learn the location of the Elder Scroll. Ask Urag about the All insane right, book. Hundreds of years have gone into assembling this collection. It's going to stay pristine, understand? We did say it was kind of weird. Oh, this Ruminations book is incomprehensible. Uh, that's the work of Septimus Actually, Cygnus. What I was looking for. He's the world's master of the nature oh, of Elder yes, Scrolls. But, well, he's been gone for a long while. Too long. Where did he go? Somewhere up north, in the ice fields. He said he found some old Dwemer artifact, but well, that was years ago. Hmm. <sighs> Haven't heard from him since. Interesting. I think the college is due for a change in leadership. Sar Sauron's journal. Oh my god, another one. <laughs> Swear. Every book we brush past drops a quest. Every person we have the happenstance to say hello to gives us a quest. Okay, well, I guess we'll have a read of this too. Journal of Saran. Uh, 14th of Rain's Hand, 4th Era 201. In my duty to document all living creatures in Skyrim, my long list, 
and long lost unicorn has never been far from my mind. It is said that long ago the very last of its kind was sacrificed to Hersey, and however rumours of sightings in Tamriel have surfaced in recent times. Indeed, when these claims echo mostly from taverns in the late hours, one can wonder at the validity of such claims. I've chronicled the habits of mud crabs and rabbits long enough. This old man is quite ready for something a little more interesting. Third of Second Seed, Fourth Era 201. I have spoken with several hunters who swear by the divines that they have seen a unicorn during their travels, or have tried to approach it for a closer look, or to take it as a prize, but it has evaded them all. I continue my research with scepticism. If this is indeed true, how could this be? Was the last unicorn not truly the last, or is some other force at work? 18th of Second Seed, 4th Era 201. While studying the mating habits of salmon is certainly enlightening, I have become quite obsessed with my pursuit of the elusive unicorn. I spoke with a hu hustler? Yeah, hustler, who said that during one of his horse taming expeditions, he too saw something that closely resembled the fabled unicorn, though he was unsure. He is a man of great integrity, so I take I took his word in good faith. I decided then to speak with Tolfdir at the College of Winterhold. Being a wise man with deep knowledge of such things, I hoped he might have some insight. I was correct in my assumption. According to Tolfdir, the Sigic Order have appeared from time to time throughout history to assist with situations they believe are extremely important. While he cannot personally say for certain, he believes they may have interview intervened after the last unicorn was sacrificed, transporting another through time in order to set right what they believed was a wrongdoing. I am more motivated than ever to see this creature with my own two eyes. 24th of Second Seed, 4th Era 201. The last sighting of the unicorn was rumoured to be in a dense forest area near Riften. As old as I am, an energy filled my bones that I haven't felt since I was a young man. I hiked up the ridge of the mountains there and set up a very small camp. I was cautious and to not set any fires or make much noise lest I scare it away. After waiting two nights through this morning's early fog, I finally saw the majestic creature for the first time. I still cannot believe my own two eyes. It lingered long enough for me to see it clearly. Its brilliant coat had distinct horn shimmering in the morning light. I watched its movements for nearly 30 minutes, enough time to draw a rough depiction for my library. This is absolutely the crowning achievement of my scholarly life. I've decided to turn this information over to the College of Winterhold rather than publish it to the general population. I would like to ensure this creature remain protected, and I believe that they are the most capable of such task. I mean, that's fur. I don't know, well, we've got another quest to find a unicorn. But not right now, that's not what we're doing. We need to find Septimus Sigmus. And that is the Elder Scroll one. Okay, cool. Right, we're on the, we're on the move. Enchanting services are one of the few things that oh, keep geez. us in touch with the rest of Sky. All right, let's you know, get ourselves out of here, right? Its own oh. Wait. Oh, jeez. Yes, yeah, the big doors. Of course, it's the big doors. Illusion really is the least appreciated. At the school. Right. So Septimus Sigmus is where exactly? Oh wow, he's all the way over there. Ooh. All right. Through Even the ice with the water. Laid back attitude, there are still some Can we just jump out? Limits. Oh, jeez. How do we... That's not going to kill me, is it? No. Okay. Oh, wow. This is uh, precarious, to say the least. Will I even be able to keep the shout until I get down there? I don't know, let's find out. I suppose we'll quick save. No harm in it. Ready? Go! Okay, cool. Ooh! Don't like that water. Alright, I'm warming up at least. Okay. Oh, 
Oh, of course. Yeah, we need to do that as well. Probably have to try and remember that uh, when we next go to Riften. I mean, I could hand it in in between episodes. I, if, if I remember rightly, you only get a bit of gold for it, but I don't know for sure, so I don't really want to do that and potentially come back in an episode and be like, oh, hey, yeah, we got this really cool item or whatever. How do we get out there without freezing to death in this water? The ice? Do we jump around on the ice? We might have to. Yeah, we might have to jump around on that. Excuse me, hawkers, don't mind me. Let's go check out the outpost. lost unknown and rise to your depths when the top level was built eh? no more could be placed it was and is the maximal apex yeah this sounds like the guy i heard you know about elder scrolls elder scrolls indeed the empire they absconded with them or so they think the ones they saw ah, the ones they thought they saw I know of one, forgotten, sequestered, but I cannot go to it, not poor Septimus, for I, I have arisen beyond its grasp. So, where is the scroll? Here. Well, here as in this plain, Mondas, Tamriel, nearby, relatively speaking. <laughs> On the cosmological scale, well, it's all nearby. So, can you help me get this or not? One block lifts the other. Septimus will give what you want, but you must bring him something in return. <sighs> all right, what do you want? You see this masterwork of the Dwemer, deep inside their greatest knowings. Septimus is clever among men, but he is but an idiot child compared to the dullest of the Dwemer. The Dwemer do but seem to be they left very far advanced compared to everyone else. The Elder Scrolls. In the depths of Black Reach, one yet lies. Oh yeah, I forgot we did this. Have you heard of Black Reach? Cast upon where Dremer City slept, the yearning spire hidden learnings kept. <laughs> yeah, so we were wanting to go to a Dwemer sort of ruin. To get to Blackreach, we have to. Where is Blackreach? Under deep, below the dark, the hidden keep, Tower Mzark. Of Tan, the point of puncture, a first entry of the tapping. Delve to its limits, and Blackreach lies just beyond. But not all can enter there. Only Septimus knows the hidden key to loose the lock to jump beneath the deathly rock. How, how do I get in? <laughs> Two things I have for you. Two shapes. One edged, one round. A sword and a shield? The round one for tuning. Dwemer music is soft and subtle and needed to open their cleverest gates. Hmm. The edged lexicon for inscribing. To us, a hunk of metal. To the Dwemer, a full library of knowings, but empty. Find Mazark and its sky dome. The machinations there will read the scroll and lay the lore upon the cube. Okay, so that means we can Trust read it. Septimus. He knows you can know. Alright, uh, what do I do with this sphere? 
The deepest doors of Dwemer listen for singing. Oh, this is it the tonal the stuff, isn't it? Of notes proper for opening. I think we read about this, or I've read it somewhere, about tonal, tonal magic. For hearing? The Dwemer weren't really big on magic, but the tonal stuff was like a new form of magic that they kind of came up with, that used the machines. What do I do with the cube? To glimpse the world inside an Elder Scroll can damage the eyes or the mind as it has to Septimus. The Dwemer found a loophole, as they always do, to focus the knowledge away and inside without harm. Hmm. Place the lexicon into their contraption and focus the knowings into it. When it brims with glow, Bring it back, and Septimus can read once more. Sure. So what do you want, the Elder Scroll? Oh, an observant one. How clever to ask of Septimus. This Dwemer lockbox. Look upon it and wonder. Inside is the heart. The heart of a god. The heart of you. And me. The only heart of a god we know is the heart of a volcano. It was hidden away. Not by the dwarves, you see. They were already gone. Someone hmm. else, uh, unseen, unknown, found the heart, and with a flair for the ironical, used dwarven trickery to lock it away. The scroll will give the deep vision needed to open it. For not even the strongest machinations of the Dwemer can hold off the all sight given by an Elder Scroll. Fair enough. We'll, we'll help the crazy man. What's an Elder Scroll? You look to your left, you see one way. You look to your right, you see another. But neither is any harder than the opposite. But the Elder Scrolls, they look left and right in the stream of time. The future and past are as one. Which is what we want. Sometimes they even look up. What do they see then? What if they dive in? Ah, then the madness begins. Cool. Well, we've exhausted everything with this guy. Let's, uh... I guess... Leave? Yeah, I guess we leave. <laughs> Shot of him for the uh, what you call it? Screenshot. All right. Well, we've talked to him. We'll head out and see where we need to go next. Transcribe the lexicon. How far away is it? It's not that far. Sarfall's the Mount Anfor, Hobbsfall Cave. A lot of these we've got quests for, but they're all kind of minor things. Do we want to just press on? Because getting Dragonrend is going to be a massive, massive help for us. I feel like we should. All right, let's let's carry on to Alfthand. I'm looking at the time, and wow, almost gone like a whole episode. A lot, of the, like, a lot of the wet episodes this week have been, oh jeez, mainly just, are you chill? Oh, you are chill. Yeah, they're chill. Cool. Has been very much heavily war based and not really combat based. We've not done much fighting, if I'm honest. But we have learned a lot, so it's not like it's a bad thing. What is this place again? Is this one of the barrows we had to go to? No, it is It is an interesting place though. Maybe we end the episode there, because I am intrigued. I don't remember a barrow being so close to... What is this place? So close to the college. Sky Temple Ruins. Is that like an Akaviri thing? Oh, skellies. All right, we get a bit of com combat, do we? Yeah. Oh, Jesus. Oh, our shouts are gone. Luckily, these guys are 
Little baby men. So we can't run either. Take that amulet of Akatosh, I'll take that too. What do we got up here? Deadly Fear Poison, Ebony Dagger, Scaly Man. Yeah, what is this what is this place? Oh. And have we got No, we haven't. There we go. Actually ah! surprised I think. Send him flying. We'll have a look, see if there's anything else we can grab off these guys. I don't think there will be. No. Let's have a look. Oblivion Crisis. Waters of Oblivion. We'll take those. Good to hold on to. We'll do some reading at some point. Arm of the Moon, Arm of the Sun. Ebony Dagger. This is another quest of some sort, isn't it? Soul Gem Fragments. I don't know what they're used for, but we'll take them. Unless it's Soul Gem. Henaril's Journal. Of course, another quest. I keep trying to clear the list. I, I swear, I'm not doing this on purpose. I'm trying to clear the list so we can actually get more cohesive stuff done. But apparently we've not, we're just picking up quests everywhere. That's fine. First of Sun's Dawn. I, I think this is going to be the reading that we end the episode on, if I'm honest. Because we've done a lot of reading already. We might as well get through this. Master Ellen, uh, Master Elaine said the Staff of Chaos was crafted by Loreth and passed on through the generations until it was stolen by Yegar Farn before being shattered into pieces by the Eternal Champion. While the pieces may be lost forever, they say centuries later a descendant of Loreth sought to recreate their magic. The results were the Arms of Chaos, magical staves that harness the power of the sun and the moon. Yet one day the mage dismantled the staves and left them lifeless, convinced they were possessed by some unknown madness. It was my master's obsession to restore these artifacts, and in her honor it has become mine. If only I could speak to her, I would know what to do next. 17th of Rain's Hand, 4th Era, 201. Leave it to my late master to provide guidance on how to proceed. Going through her effects, I found a sketch of the necklace she often wore. It's identical in all ways, but one. There's an orb set in the center of the amulet, teeming with fire. If it's true that Loreth's magic allowed one to travel to distant worlds, then it's possible that this orb is a sigil stone. Ooh! We've not heard of one of those for a long, long time. I remember those very well from the Oblivion Crisis. You have to do the constant rerolls to get the enchants that you want. If my hunch is right, the staves are missing the same. 22nd of Rain's Hand, 4th Era 201, my spirit renewed, I scoured the archives in Winterhold. And found my path forward, I must find a way to summon three Daedra Guardians of the Sigil Stones. There's an altar on the eastern shore of Sky Temple Ruins. Bearing a Daedric mark, it may be what I need. 28th of Rain's Hand, 4th Era 201. I've hit a snag. The ring used to activate the summoning circle was buried with my late master, which I foolishly had shipped to her ancestral home. To think she even gifted me the ring and I mistook it for sentiment. I feel thicker than Netch Jelly. Still complaining won't undo my mistake. The name of the ship was the Sea Stallion. I wonder if I can catch it before it departs. Second of last seed, fourth era, two or one. The courier has yet to return. I'm beginning to fear the worst. The ship has already left the dock long before my letter arrived. I'm not sure what to do at this point. I haven't had much sleep, and my mind is starting to hear creaking noises when nothing exists. I wish my master were here still so I could seek her wisdom. They say there is a shrine of Arche, or Acre in this, at the pass to the south. Come morning, I will visit it and pray for an answer. Hmm. All right, well, might as well have a look in here before we end, right? It doesn't look like it's a dungeon, it looks like it's a, oh jeez, some kind of hidden treasure. Oh, yeah. well, how are, how are you? Death Ward. Easy to do. Let's have a look around then. So what lore can we take away from this? We've got a little... Ooh. 
Take those. A little book. Before the Age of Man. We've read it before. We'll open this up, see what's inside. There we go. Nothing really of any use. Orcish scaled armor. Nah, we're getting up on the weight limit now. I don't really want to grab that. Alright, well that is where we will leave it for now. I think what we will do in between episodes is I will make my way back to civilization and we'll continue doing a little bit of smithing and enchanting, getting our skills up. Just so we can basically, can we get warm by this candle? Will that be enough to warm us? Just so we can kind of make a little bit of progress in between episodes. Uh, not going to be doing any quests, just a little bit of smithing and stuff. And setting ourselves up for the next leg of this journey, which is going to be... I guess the next best place to sort of start again would be... If we're heading to Elftand, probably Winterhold again? So yeah, when we next come back, I'll be back in Winterhold. I'll have done a little bit of smithing and stuff in between episodes. A bit of inventory management. And we'll set out from Winterhold towards Alftand. See if we can find out the secrets of the Dwemer and the Elder Scrolls. Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed the episode. Thanks for being here, and I'll see you next time. Bye for now. Kajit.